For Entity to deal with this fight that the Hellraisers can bring to them. They look for the jump towards Dawn. Somebody great. get the lift up with the Telekinesis. Managed to get the, the roll off in time. Uragi put the BKB in the chrono. He's caught the two of them. And Storm Stormer Oop. will go down. They get a nice wall here along the three of them. In fact, this wall's kind of causing some issues here for Hellraisers as they'll lose both supports. Miro tries to TP out, but he gets taken down by Watson. It's a triple kill for him. Yuragi has to time walk away from this. As he's now left pretty much on his own. Light Striker Ray catches him. Ultra kill for Watson. Will it be good to smoke into an Underlord next to a Tier 2 tower? Is Cloud9 going to rotate back to it? No, because they found something else. They were also making aggressive get his They ran off? into the Centaur. And Jabs is going to be able to get off his full swing of spells. He may still be dead, but his team is coming into it. Fisherman immediately goes and hits the hook shot onto the Omni Knight. A Requiem goes out, but most of the Cloud9 heroes have already popped their BKBs and backed away. And they're trying to get 23 damage. Big burst of damage, though. Brings down no one. They do manage to hit a Shackle. Ooh, that finished them off. The a crit. big crit from Watson. Nails him right as 23 Savage is looking to wave farm away. And another route comes out. The SF, we talked about it. Once the BKBs are down, there is a seemingly infinite number of disables. A shackle shot that lands. Can anybody stop Watson? No. Yeah, he just I don't think he was expecting that. And I, I tell you what, he wasn't expecting Vizy here to be disposed back. The shackles come through once again. The last is not going to be there. They'll be, they'll be able to pop that flame break to get the pushback into Vizy. Vizy, can he get himself out of this? A Firefly, nope. Once again, the dispose comes through. Suplex City coming through onto Vizy now. Can he run himself away from this? He's going to be slow down the roar, the gale, everything to push back this Tidehunter. He's a big tanky boy, but they're still going to be able to make sushi out of him. Now Gilgu is going to be able to get disposed onto the, the Viper. Now they've got that Aegis pop. What can they do with this? Because Watson, he's going to be coming back full health, full mana. Maybe even full rage. Yeah, he comes out the waveform forward onto the Viper now as well. Rabel, he's got that lasso. He's going to try and get into Maureen. The flame break comes back Maureen. once again. And Maureen's going to get caught out. The damage coming through here from this on Watson. He's just going to be able to blow up two, three heroes. And they carry on going. It's going to be four. Will it be five? It's Kiritis. Yes, Duraccio is having a very, very good time leading the way in the CS for this game overall. If I had to pick one hero that is the single best safe laner in the first three minutes for CSing as carry, it's this one. Nature's Prophet is expected to do very well. Yeah, that's why he's considered the best body in ability draft. His copy is going to take a lot of damage here. Quinn just casually kills him. My goodness. Using the mischief to get like under these the top. two, These two cores are strong, and then you have some of the AoE from the Huskar. It's oh, like the wrong point. direction. Going to have to charge his way to the Chen army. They've got Duraccio in a pretty good spot. Taking the Viper going out trying to stop this one. Duraccio maybe is too strong though. They have to grab him with a pulverize to stop some of this. Amar goes in trying to finish him off with this Chaos Knight. is just not dying easy with a pipe and a crimson guard. It all goes wrong as they all in for the Chaos Knight and they fail to get the kill. And now they'll pay the price for it as three members going to get run down with the Hoodwink nowhere to run to. A fourth member added to the pile. A triple kill for Quinn as well. As he... I think they were losing. Got to see Ace, but he's off the mark with the, the way he starts the fight, and even so, this is an Underlord with an Aegis. Quinn, going be able to get the jump with the Dream Call on the Waning Rift. Tofu heading over, he's going to look for the Hex into the Blinding Light, knocks him back. See if they can finish off Nisha, no further catch. To as he's actually going to jump in aggressively, they want to get rid of the support. They kill on Celery. McCain's going to try and look for more, caught by the Halberd and the Silence. He'll start to back off, but now he's ready to get back inside. He's made the jump, they get the Doom down on towards the Alchemist, but the Chemical Rage, the BKB are on first of the Concoction, as Director just walks in, stands next to two supports, decimates Insane and Boxy, and ready for more. Turns over towards Isaac, caught by the Hex, pops the BKB, Boxy jumps in with the Blast Off to try and hold back Director, but Director is back up to full HP. Another Concoction thrown down towards side. jump forward here from Hard. Win, Wading Rift takes Sai out, Nisha's dead, Sai's out, saving him. Yeah, they know they're there. Are they expecting the initiation, though? Will they be able to oh, react this, this and keep you away? Everything. Keep away. Uh oh, they don't have Quinn now. Right, the initiation comes in. The Chronosphere only catching the Magnus. And the Overgrowth. That's, right, the overgrowth that's gonna stop the damage, too. Oh, the Ravage will be able to fall. Yeah, it's a an absolute disaster for Gaming Gladiators and Evil Genius Twist. They will feast in this fight. Quinn is they're back. They'll take away the Aegis. Duraccio is back in the play. And yeah, Quinn's back with the Shield Room at that. Oh, Shell Grape! Just at the right time, he will be able to let Durac they finish up the tree, but Duraccio fighting for his life right now. Great Avalanche to be able to cover him up, but the Shallow Graves are just... just won't die. He will not die! Finally, because deals with him, but the damage is done. Duraccio lives! They probably get interrupted. Yeah, they need to Doom Duraccio. I see. It's going to be a little separate from the team. There's the Lincoln's popped. 
They're in. They get the control. Everything being thrown down, but he's going to get taken out here with the Axe time lapse. And now he's just going to stand his ground and start critting them all as he turns to 33. Three dead. Triple kill for Ace. Skeeter's in with the BKB9, trying to finish off this PA, but the Doom comes to an end, and Duracho is ready to fight on strong. Over the nine he goes. Nine, there's a rampage for Ace. There's a, a sanking rampage in 2022 you don't expect. No. So looking at the win condition here, you have to keep him away from the throne. High They're strategizing Lord. right now. They decided to go for a smoke, and let's see where they let it lie. Are they going to go up to top? They're going to go throne. through the gate. They're going to go all straight in. from the throne. All in on this one. They pop their BKB. They go straight from the throne, and it is all over. Game and Gladiators take it to the very go. The collapsing Utoro cannot follow. That is a very bold move. When your Primal is dead, he's so much of your damage, so much of your burst damage. I mean, again, they're very close to bursting Yotoro, but the man knows his limits. Elvin, two to the oh, and... oh, Tofu! Yeah! A shot from downtown claims the life of Yotoro! They're looking to make a play top here. Team Spirit, this could be huge for them if they can find Durant oh. here, but the BKB on immediately, and now the turnaround, they've got the rupture around. Gerst is there to hold them down on the blood sneaker, but Yatoro, he's gonna try and fight back. He'll man up, Duraccio still going, Yatoro, he'll try. is getting a bit too low though, he's gonna drop. Yatoro does manage to pick one up, and now they might be able to clean up. On to boom, they go, collapse. He will be able to surely get this ember. They will get the Aegis down. Tofu will leap his way out as Yatoro. Still being chased here by Ace. They're buying back for this. They're going to want to save Yatoro here. They're going to try. Yatoro is going to survive as they do move their way in. Maposhka going to keep up the vision. But who do they want to jump? Chains out. Boom. They don't want to have a dieback here on this Sand King, but he's going to be all right for now. Toronto look to back his way out as the Burrow Strike is there. Spirit Vessel will tick him out. Boom. Going to keep going for more as Yatoro. He'll keep trying to wow. fight back, but it's not enough. That's, that he was is a walking tower, quite literally. This is a good Rubik game. If you can get track, if you can get glimpse. Rolling in, the cube is coming. With the meteor hammer on top of it, chain stunned, Ace does manage to get off the Primal Roar before he dies. That'll help Quinn escape. Track. A lot of tracks up right now. Yeah, if they could get a successful fight out of it, it'd be great, but they don't really have too much to work with. No Rolling Thunder, no Static Storm. Gotta think about Glimpse here if you're disengaging. 33 is gonna be pulled back in. This time the Kinetic Field will certainly catch that hero. And they are just not cleanly getting out either. It's losing hero one hero to the that. Glimpse, but now they lose a second, which is also tracked. Found nine, does he know he found nine? And he finds Aramis as well. Continue to play around it. Almost got him with a blood grenade, but not quite. Boxy almost bursted by the singer. Stolen Burrow Strike, though, will halt Quinn. He's running Another after one. him with the bugs on him, but a hook shot, a toss. Oh, look, got some of that damage. Meanwhile, Nisha, he's still got the bug on him as well. The Burrow Strike got a punch to the backside. Ace is able to finish him off, but Quinn is in deep. He managed to hit the stinger, got another kill. Now on the run, Celery trying to cover him. Mickey, black hole on two. 33 the misses the axes. Quinn comes back in with the stinger and kills a both and stays alive. Beautiful stuff from the Sand King and 33 caught from behind by Durachi. Does not feel scared at all, Amara. 20 seconds on TV. Watson's starting to get out. Do they have oh, the echo? They do. Echo him. TP stop, but Amara's still here ready to back. Watson up. Watson's happy to turn with the help of Marley. Just goes straight for Ace. Ace is out to the side. Can they catch him? No way. Oh my goodness, he's his way. The fish is going to block Amara off. Amara can't quite get in range to finish him with a plasma field. Ace will live. Celery is in the base. The base. I mean, he's going for it, Celery. He's doing a bit of damage. He's doing quite a lot. I mean, not bad for a uh, support nature. The Rock shows it too. Oh, I mean, I think there's no clip. They're going to end it. I mean, Mara's gonna push him back. He has the old grab, but Celery's just finishing it. He's hitting the H, and they've got to stop the Prophet. The Terra Blades, one problem, the, the Nature Prophet's another. The Duracho's dead. Quinn's in. Quinn, he's trying to finish it off with the Archon. The Archon jumps in the grip. Holding he actually gets it. Quinn's never finishing. They get the win. They get he's coming it. to kill you all. Quinn with his DK up on the front lines. And bet boom, you've got to make a call. You've got to do something. Your tier fours are falling so quickly. Toronto Tokyo makes a, a walk forward to make a. They don't know what's going on. Like they just lost tier four towers in two <laughs> seconds. They've got shiny purple lasers on them from the Seer Stone. They're trying to run forward now in towards Quinn, but uh, side the vice to pulverize the catching Enigma on the right hand side. Ace in trouble. Maybe now with a kill off the Enigma, he's gone. He's down. Buys back. 
Nightfall, half his HP gone, the Wind Waker there, I think, saving him and buying a bit of time. I mean, just focus the throne at this point, just attack it instead. <laughs> it's over. Our game's not over just yet. DK just fall back a little bit here. Zoratia runs in, they will get some hero kills on the way out. GPK, oh, and a black hole from Ace. That's it. Game's over. Job's a good one. Buy back from GPK and life still here. Or maybe Nightfall with Ben Boom on a buyback and fight into them. But Ace has another black hole up his sleeve. Nightfall trapped in it. GPK trying to get in there, but he's piggy. The, down. the diebacks, they're here. Not enough in a tank from Bet Boom as Gaming Gladiators will clinch a 2-0 victory here in the group stage.